five free public universities in Germany that offer bachelor's degree in biotechnology. Now, some of these universities offer biotechnology as a bachelor's of engineering degree, and the others do it as bachelor's of science in biotechnology. I will also be highlighting some very important facts and details about biotechnology degree at German universities in this video which are also valid for most of other degree programs. Besides these five, I will also be mentioning some other universities in Germany that offer bachelor's degree in biotechnology. So stick around till the end of this video if you want to study biotechnology or some other degree program here in Germany. I hope this video is helpful to you and let me know in the comments section if there are any questions regarding this topic. Just an FYI, all the information about degree programs at different German universities will be mentioned in the description of this video for you to check out for yourself. And don't forget to like this video if it was helpful to you and subscribing to this channel will go a long way. So let's get started. The first university in Germany that offers bachelor's degree in biotechnology is the Technical University of Dresden. It is one of the biggest technical universities in Germany and has more than 29,000 students with 18% of total students from other states. The Bachelor's in Biotechnology program at this university is a six semester long Bachelor's of Science degree program. And the name of this degree program is Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. The Biotechnology degree program at this university is accredited, which means this degree program ensures a good quality despite of being a six semester long degree program. Unlike many other universities in Germany, you can apply in the winter as well as in the summer semester in biotechnology at this university. All the information about this degree program can be found on their website, to which I will post the link in the description down below. And here they go on to mention the goals of this degree program, like what this program will prepare you for. And then you can see the details on their study content, which is only available in German, so you can just click here and translate the website. And it's not available in English on their website due to the reason that this degree program at this university, at Technical University of Dresden, is only offered in German language. So if you want the details in English, just translate the page from Google, which allows you to do so, and gather the information that you need. And this part basically shows the whole six semesters plan for how this degree program is going to be what subjects and topics will be covered and the prep courses, foreign semester possibilities and all the other details. You can just go to the faculty page on their website and learn about every detail that you need about studying biotechnology at Technical University in Dresden. And if there are any questions and if something's unclear, just comment down below and I will try to get back to you with an answer. The second university in Germany that offers biotechnology is the University of Applied Sciences in Mannheim. The bachelor's program in biotechnology at this university is a seven semester long bachelor's of science degree program. At this Applied Sciences University of Mannheim, you can apply in summer as well as in winter semester, which again is a huge benefit. Here on their webpage, you can see all the admission requirements, the application deadlines, and the whole procedure for German, as well as for international students. You can see what this degree program at this university prepares you for regarding your professional or academic skill sets later on. Then to your right, you can see the industries that this degree program will prepare you for, along with some examples of companies and institutes that will be optimal for you, you know, after you've completed your degree from this university. As you can see, all the relevant information about biotechnology program at this university from, from the start, from the application procedure and requirements to the study program and course details, all of it is mentioned right here. It's a very short and simple website and I love universities that make their website so simple and short so that the students can go through it and understand everything without a problem. But still, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments section below. And one more thing, this program is also offered in German language only. On number three, we have the University of Applied Sciences in Jena. This university offers biotechnology as a bachelor's of engineering degree program. Biotechnology program at this university is a bit easy to get into because it doesn't have limitations on the number of students for this degree program, unlike the other two universities that I just mentioned earlier in this video. So if you look at their website, 
The first view on this page is the general information about the degree program, like it's a six semester long bachelor's of engineering program, and it's offered once a year. And if you click right here, you will see what this degree program prepares you for. And on the program content tab, you can see the details of this program and you'll just learn about everything that you will be learning, that you will be going through module and topic wise from the first semester till the end. You can just go through the semester details and see the subjects in each semester for bachelors of biotechnology at this university. And to see the details for application, just read the application tab and follow all the instructions. And if there are any questions, just let me know in the comments section. And by the way, before applying to a German university, you have to check your eligibility for German universities. Just go to the website of any of the universities that I just mentioned or that I will be mentioning in this video and you will get all the information that you need. Or you can just check out this video that I made where I mention what you have to do to check your eligibility, which websites you need to check and which databases you need to visit in order to be able to do that. Just go through this video and you will see some websites in the description of that video where I mentioned all these websites that are useful for international students. So just go check these websites if you're interested in studying at either one of these universities. On number four, we have the University of Applied Sciences in Hamburg, which is also called HAW Hamburg. It's also a seven semester long Bachelor's of Science degree program. And I think their website is also pretty simple. You can see the details about this degree program. And just like in other three universities, you can see what this program or what this university prepares you for if you study biotechnology, of course, at this university. And further down, you can see the admission requirements for international and EU students. You can just click right here if you are an international student and you can get all the needed information for your application in not only biotechnology, but all the programs that this university has to offer to international students. So just go through these categories on this web page to learn about everything you need to know about bachelor's degree programs at this university. And for biotechnology, it's the same. On number five on this list, we have the Applied Sciences University in Goethen. Biotechnology at this university in Germany is offered as a seven semester long bachelor's of engineering degree program. The content of this degree program is more on the engineering side than biochemical side. And you can see that from the content of this degree program on their website. Another important point to realize is that almost all the degree programs that are offered as bachelors of engineering in biotechnology have a similar structure to their programs. You can also compare the structure of this degree program with that of the Applied Sciences University in Vienna, which was the number three university on this list. We just went through five universities in Germany that offer bachelor's degree programs in biotechnology. Now let's see some very important administrative facts about biotechnology degree programs here in Germany for international as well as for EU students. So this is very important to understand. Most universities in Germany have a NC for biotechnology degree programs. NC is the abbreviation for numerus clausus, which means that the number of admission spots in a degree program is closed or limited. 5 to 10% of total admission spots are or can be given to international students in most of the universities in Germany, but sometimes it may differ depending on the university or the degree program that you're interested in. Generally speaking, most universities offer 50 to 100 admission spots in total for biotechnology, depending on the size of the university and the department, of course. International students must apply through UniAssist for admission and must visit a program called Studienkolleg, which is a pre-bachelor's prep course for international students. If you don't know what that is, then go to any university website that I mentioned in this video, or just click on this video where I explained what UniAssist is and how international students have to apply through UniAssist to get admission at German universities. And the prep course known as Studienkolleg is also explained in this video. You can also watch this video from my YouTube channel and let me know in the comments section if there is anything unclear. Furthermore, most bachelor's degree programs in Germany are offered in German language only. And almost all the bachelor's degree programs at public German universities are offered in German, including all the universities that I mentioned in this video. Some states in Germany have implemented tuition fee for international students at public universities. 
And you can see that mentioned in the admission requirements for international students section on each of these university websites. Most universities in Germany offer biotechnology in winter semester only. That's because biotechnology is not common at German universities as, let's say, some other engineering degree programs like mechanical or electrical engineering. And of course, there are universities that offer biotechnology twice a year, and two of them I already mentioned early in this video. Biotech degree programs at some universities are more specific like pharma biotech, plant biotech, or white biotech. So if you want to study general biotechnology or something more specific, then I suggest you look into the degree program and learn about the degree program as much as you can before applying for an admission spot at that university. And I think you should always think about doing a very thorough research beforehand on the degree program from application requirements to the program itself and the industry afterwards, like everything that you can, because this will determine the course of your entire career. These administrative facts are important to understand, and I hope you got what I was trying to convey. And if not, just let me know in the comments section. Up until this point, we have gone through five of German universities that offer bachelor's degree in biotechnology. But here are some other universities that also offer bachelor's degree in biotechnology. Technical University in Munich, Technical University in Berlin, University of Applied Sciences in Ansbach, and Technical University in Braunschweig, and there are others, of course. If you are curious about any of these universities, just visit their website and read about the degree programs or biotechnology if you're interested in biotechnology. You can always leave a comment and let me know if there are any questions regarding this topic or any other topic. And let me know if this video was helpful to you or not. And if you like the content of this video and if it was indeed helpful to you, then give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and have a nice day.